I've just been reading a very interesting article in The Independent about Emma Willis. And Emma Willis, uh, I, I, I was really excited about the about the way that she's approached some of the interviews that she's had to do, for example, with Winston McKenzie, the boxer, the culture spokesperson, there's a bit of a misnomer, really, of UKIP, his homophobic comments about gay adoption and so on. And I, I thought it it is interesting because she's made herself a... Uh, a sort of the go-to person. The, um, the, 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 there's a joke in the article about uh, who's the queen of uh, reality TV or who's the queen of pop uh, pop presentation, and um, and she says, "Well, that's Davina. I'm sort of Davina Mark II." And I remember when I met her uh, in the final of the circle, and I was waiting to go on, and I said, "Well." Who is this person? Who is um, Emma Willis? And the, the producer says, oh, you'll recognise her uh, the moment you walk through this tunnel. You'll, rec you'll recognise I was very anxious because I was worried that there might be more than one person there and I wouldn't know who was the... <laughs> I wouldn't know who was the star. I, wouldn't, I had no idea who she was. And they said, oh, she presents Big Brother. She presents The Voice. I thought that doesn't that doesn't help me at all. Then they said, uh, you know, her her husband is or her boyfriend is, uh, is 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 the leader of a band, and I thought, well, you know, none of that helps at all. As it was, she was the only other person on stage, and we sat down and we had the most delightful, the, the most relaxed chat, biggish audience there, and I felt very comfortable. What I noticed was she was shaking like a leaf. But being in the presence of such consummate professionalism was extraordinary. And she was lovely. She was really lovely. Um, and it's not the only time that I've been sort of faced with the, the big stars and thinking... You know that they're they're just sort of they're two steps ahead, and, that, and that's it. And the the stress of keeping everything on the road is enormous. And yet, she well, she she's she's struggled with sort of trying to trying to deal with the serious issues that besiege reality TV and trying at the same time to keep it light. And she's very good at what she does. But I'm not convinced... I'm not convinced it's enough. Um, because in a way she is... She, she is used by production because she is so professional and because she is able to make it look easy. And I know it isn't. And I don't know... I don't know what the alternative is. Is the alternative that you blow the whistle, Big Brother, Love is Blind, The Voice, X Factor. All of, all of these things, the, the, this, the superficial is what defines us in so many ways. The ephemeral is the stuff that survives. The really serious stuff we tend to put to one side. And I've said for a long time that it's the sweet packets that we throw away that will define us when archaeologists dig us up in three, four hundred years' time. Because there won't be there won't be any evidence of anything on these things. This these will have gone. 
we will be a generation that wrote nothing. And we will have left nothing behind. And I worry a little bit about that. And that's why I think the ephemeral is important. The ephemeral has always been important. Marginalia in uh, old manuscript is far more interesting than the stuff which is supposed to be written. The way uh, little emendations in, you know, the, 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 the great texts of the Bible, the Iliad, the Odyssey, and so on, find their way, creep into the actual text, and change the, the, the received version. Um, I find that fascinating. And that's really what reality TV is. It's the, it's the incidental which has become, which has been grandstanded. And I think Emma Willis is an absolute star. And I remember sitting next to her at the, what was the National Television Awards or something. Um, and, you know, it had be, it'd been a while since we'd met and she still remembered who I was. And I thought that was very flattering and and, and very, very sweet. And... Um, it's a, uh, it makes me feel a little bit un uh, uncomfortable that I didn't know who she was when I first met her. I didn't know what Busted was. I didn't know who Matt Willis was. I still don't really. But I still take my hat off to this amazing talent. And... I, I don't think she's alone. I think there's a, I think there's a number of extraordinarily gifted presenters and 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 showmen, show women, show people, who uh, even even if they're masking their <laughs> their shivers, are are delivering with such assurance and making the, the, the trite and the insignificant into something that is memorable. That is a skill. She should be saluted. <laughs>